Okay, we're going to talk about Steven Seagal for a moment. Or some people pronounce it Steven Seagal. I think that's mainly Howard Stern. I don't know, I haven't... I can't think of anybody else that's pronounced it that way. But anyways, Steven Seagal, as I've always called him. I grew up loving his movies. Um, Above the Law was awesome. Uh, Mark for Death was darker. It was a little rated R for when I was a big Steven Seagal fan, so that movie kind of scared me a little bit. If it's the one I'm thinking of. Um, I, 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 Under Siege 1 and Under Siege 2 were my favorites. I love those movies. The first one had... Um, Baywatch girl boobies in it. I can't think of her name. Under Siege 2 was the pinnacle of Steven Seagal. And I'll fight anybody who disagrees with me. It, it was the pinnacle, the the peak. It had uh, a rapper, or I don't know if he was a rapper. There was a black guy in it. Which, you know, is a uh, typical Steven Seagal. He likes to pair himself up with a uh, black person that might be famous. I think I think there was... I don't know. Anyways, great movie. The fight scenes were excellent. Um, but really what made that movie... It was... First off, it was the cinematography. <laughs> Not the cinematography. The the choreography. The fight choreography was good. And, you know, nowadays a lot of people say that, well, it's obvious he's a joke. He's more of a joke, like a laughing stock. And he is because he's such a narcissist. That's the thing. Steven Seagal is a huge narcissist. But... People take it too far, I think, and take away what that, like they they eliminate. I mean, let's face it. Okay, the guy was talented. He was talented. People try so hard to make Steven Seagal look like a total fraud, like a talentless asshole, and. He was an asshole, and he was a liar and a narcissist. I mean, you watch the interviews with him. It's fucking hilarious. The jokes write themselves. I love the jokes. I never stop laughing at him in his later work, like Lawman or whatever the fuck it was called. Hilarious. And just watching... uh interviews of actors talking about working with him it's all funny as fuck it's all funny the jokes write themselves but you cannot deny the guy's talent like he knew how to shoot action scenes that's why he became popular in the first place like all these people are trying to say that he's just a fraud he he knew nothing he was just a shit talker. No. His action scenes were great in the early 90s. Under Siege 2. Great movie. Uh, Above the Law had probably the most realistic, brutal action sequences. As far as I know. I can't remember very many of his movies at this point. But back in the day, they were top notch. And... Yeah, Under Siege 2 will always be my favorite movie because that had Basil Pole Doris doing the score. And he's the fucking master of music for movies. And yeah, it just made everything so much more epic. And yeah, just to deny Steven Seagal his his due he he is the man in movies in the early 90s in that specific time frame 
He is the man. Like, I laugh my ass off as much as anyone else, and I find his backstory fascinating. I'm not going to say if I believe all of it or I disbelieve all of it. it it's interesting. Like the stuff with the mafia, it, it raises a lot of questions. Uh, and, you know, hearing other actors talk about him, you he, he always got to look at both sides because all actors have egos, so there's clashing egos there. So, I mean, it doesn't look good for him because every single actor that talks about him, the ones that have worked with him, all say he's a fucking asshole. But still, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much defending Steven Seagal. But I will say, you can't call him a talentless hack because his movies in the early 90s were solid. The early, early 90s. Under Siege 1, Under Siege 2, Above the Law, Mark for Death. Fucking, uh, he made a bunch of them. The Under Siege movies were my favorite. And I'll always be a small Steven Seagal fan. No matter how much he gets embarrassed. It's part of my childhood. 